Savathun does not deserve the light, so stop it. This video is in response to the many posts that I've seen on this topic on r slash destiny the game and r slash destiny lore. It probably won't get me any friends in those places, but this is a trend that's becoming increasingly unsettling to me. And that trend is theorizing about Savathun's potential redemption. This thread has over 2,000 upvotes. People typically make a few different arguments when talking about Savathun's redemption, and they are the Hawkmoon lore tab where it shows her having human feelings that she doesn't understand, or abandoning the sword logic and trying to get rid of her worm, being hunted by the hive and branded a heretic, and by the darkness as well. Finally, the worst of all, in my opinion, is that Savathun and the hive gods are paracausal alien beings, and we cannot ascribe our morality to them. Now, I get that this is all a game, and I may be looking into it too deeply, but so are the people making these posts, and you clicked on the video, so deal with it. For the sake of this video, let's just assume that this is all true. That she really left the hive behind. That she really is feeling human emotions. That she's trying to get rid of her worm, etc, etc, etc. None of it matters. Too little, too late. I want you to do something for me. A little thought experiment. Imagine replacing Savathun with Hitler. Because, in effect, Savathun is like an ultra-space Hitler. She controls her race with an authoritarian stranglehold. She's committed genocide on countless worlds over her lifespan of millions of years, snuffing out the lives of billions, if not trillions, of sentient beings. She spread rhetoric about the hive being, or at least becoming, a master race, the final shape of the universe. All of that is without question. So imagine replacing her with Hitler the man who orchestrated the absolute evil horrors of the Holocaust, who killed millions more in the wars that he started. Now tell me, would you care if, towards the end, Hitler started having doubts? Would you care if he had human emotions? Would you care about his morality or whether or not his army cast him out? Would you want to take him in with open arms or even associate yourself sullying your hands by working with him? No. No, you wouldn't. And if you answered yes to any of those questions, then I have no problem telling you that I do not want you on this channel. No sane person that isn't a white nationalist would want any of that and would not care about any of those things. They would say that Hitler is bad and there's no redemption for him. Having said that, I want to make abundantly clear that I'm not calling you a fascist just because you were on the side of Savathun becoming good or something like that. It's just a game story after all. I'm just saying that we need to think more critically about these stories. So put yourself in the shoes of a person living in the Destiny universe, where everything that was done by Savathun is real, including sending two armies three if you count the ones sent by Zivu Arath's recent invasion, to wipe out humanity. Everything she has done has been the ultimate embodiment of evil, and it's real to these people. There is no redemption from that. Any attempt to do so would just be shit writing. It would be disingenuous. It may, may be possible that we get an enemy of my enemy situation, but I really don't think they would do even that. And regardless, at some point, Savathun has to pay for her crimes. You don't just get to come back from something like that. Savathun and the Hive and the Sword Logic itself all smack of fascism, of a superior race. They are, if not allegories of Hitler, at least coded that way, whether intentionally or not. Again, would you care about the logic of Hitler? Even if Savathun is a paracausal being, even if she is an alien with alien ways, none of that changes the ultimate fact that she took the lives of countless sentient beings. And don't ever use the argument that she didn't have a choice. She always had a choice. When she went to the deep on the fundament, she had a choice. The choice was a steep one, 
kill or succumb to your worm and die, and possibly let your race die, though that's debatable, it may have just been a ploy to get them to choose the deep. It wasn't a very fair choice, but she took the self-serving choice every single time. When the three sisters dove down to the center of the fundament before meeting the worm gods, they encountered the Leviathan, an agent of the Traveler, and it said to them unequivocally, Turn back from the world-killing way, or you will live as death and devastation. The sky is the harder way, but it is kinder. Savathun and her sisters always had a choice, and they chose the dark. They chose to become the closest thing that this universe has to a devil. When Oryx had second thoughts on waging war against the Ammonite for the crime of existing, we see who Savathun really is. You are dead, young Oryx, betrayed and murdered by your own sister for the crime of mercy. Remember what you said to the Ammonite Satellite Congress? We will parlay on neutral ground. Savathun's witches had rendered it utterly neutral. No living thing will ever claim it again. The space around the dry moon stinks of rot. Savathun made her choice. She does not deserve our sympathy. She does not deserve the light. The only thing that she deserves is to rot like the dead moon that her treachery and her murderous ways created. And don't let anyone tell you different. <laughs>